This video will make your brain explode because these are the hardest riddle videos ever. From riddles that seem impossible to challenges that will test your IQ, you will have to think outside the box in order to solve these riddles. If you are truly up for the challenge, stick around for the secret video to see if you can solve the hardest app game we have ever played. Let's go! Today we are seeing if Josh can solve some impossible riddle. Is this river dog riddle? Huh? Okay, a man stands on one side of a deep river, his dog on the other. The man calls his dog. He says, come here, boy. It, it cross crosses the river without getting wet. Huh? And without using a bridge or a boat. Okay, so he just teleported across. <laughs> How did the dog do this? <laughs> okay, so you are on one side of a river. Your dog is on the other. Yeah. You call it and it comes to you without getting wet. How is that possible? Okay, so Chimmy and I will now figure this out. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use this to simulate the river okay, in the middle. Okay. How Chimmy. do you get Chimmy to come to you without getting wet? Okay. You call the dog's name. Uh-huh. Chimmy! And then I'm gonna call my underwater dog's name. <laughs> Dick Shark! Oh yeah! And then Chimmy is gonna hop on the back of the Dick Shark. Yeah! Hey, Dick Shark says stop! <laughs> and he's gonna swim him over. Got him. And he's not no, wet. No, wait. The shark would come from under the water and would have water on it. Therefore, no. when Chimmy rides him, he'd get wet. No. No. Big Shark doesn't get wet. He only gets sick. <laughs> okay, but in the riddle, there is no thick shark. What if the guy gets in the river? What if he's splashing? <laughs> I'm uh -huh. water. And then he picks up his doggy and swims him back across. In this riddle... The man does not get in the water. That's a hint. I'm coming in <laughs> with a straw. <laughs> and if this is the water level, I'm taking my straw. Yeah. You're going to drink the entire river? You think it's, <laughs> yeah. it's gone. And then Jimmy can cross the dry riverbed to me. Yeah. You think you can drink an entire river? Oh, most definitely. I have done it before. I actually got it. No way. It never said how big the river is. What if the dog can jump over the river? In the riddle, it looks pretty big. This makes absolutely no sense. Maybe it gets wet. Maybe Chimmy goes for a swim. He gets over and he does that thing that dogs do. <laughs> the shake. Yeah, and now he's not wet anymore. Chimmy says, <laughs> You got it. Stop. Stop. Try and expand your brain. I don't know how that's him, but I'll do it. <laughs> Is your brain getting bigger? <laughs> Yeah! So did all that help you solve the riddle? No, it did not. Okay, I will give one final hint. Notice how the water is not moving. Oh, the river's frozen? Yeah! You a troll! Dude! Okay, that is the Are answer. You a troll? The river was frozen, so he was able to just skate across without getting wet. <laughs> no, his paws would still get wet. No! Yes, it would. You want, you want me to go get a block of ice and rub it on you? You get wet. No, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. You I'm not get it. wet. I'm prove it. I got some ice touching. Now wow, my fingers, finger's dry. Jimmy says, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's out. No, yeah. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys let us know if you think the answer to this was fair. Justin got that one right. Let us know if you guys got that one right. Guys, I actually have an extra secret riddle just for Justin and you guys. I'm going to put it at the end of the video. So make sure to watch this full video. But for now, we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is this spy code riddle. <laughs> now, do you think you can crack this code? 100%. Okay, here we go. Your spy partner gives you a secret code. Now the answer is thick. Done. I'm done. No. That's the only That's code. wrong. Yeah. What? That's not it. Okay, we're moving on. Put the A. <laughs> <Put the laughs> no, no, no. You gotta uh, try. It's top secret and contains info on a spy attack. Okay. You must figure it out in five minutes or the note will self-destruct. Uh, Can you figure out the code? So I'm gonna start okay. a timer. No. Starting and you have Wait, five what? minutes to crack this code. Stop. This is gonna self-destruct yes. in five minutes. Okay, so I have recreated the riddle on this piece yeah, of paper. And I have recreated the Justy Spy Agency. So actually, <laughs> this is going to help you solve the riddle. We are sending in the defusing department. <laughs> Cookie, defuse it. Beep, 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 boop. So is it the red wire? <laughs> Cookie, defuse it, defuse it. Yeah, we're running out of time. Is it working? Yeah. The special defuser expert, Cookie, is going to destroy the note. No, Justin. <laughs> Justin, that's my phone. Did the timer stop? No. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
You have four minutes left. You just wasted a minute. Now, see if you can ah. figure out this code. The spies are depending okay, on okay, you. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Now, so, what do you okay. think it might be? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect <laughs> this, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna connect it like that. Wait, is Justin about to crack I'm it? connect this. No way. I'm gonna draw some circles in here. Oh, no way. And now I got a half dozen donuts. <laughs> Cookie's gonna come in here and decorate. Cookie's you gonna put in some sprinkles. You think the code is to make a nice picture of donuts? The code is donuts. Huh? You are not even close. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna come in with a new piece of paper. Try anything else. Clap. What are you doing with my phone? Ah, We're gonna put it in some ice. Why? Some ice. How is this gonna help you solve the riddle? I'm defusing the note. Justin, no. I've given up on the riddle. My only choice now is to defuse this in two minutes. No, Justin, you have to try and solve this. Okay, let us know if you guys can figure this out. You have two minutes left. Go, go, go. Maybe it has to do with turning it upside down. Oh, I actually got it. So if you actually fold it this way. Wait, it says juicy. <laughs> no, it's not saying that you're juicy. You are so close. Think, let me think. If you cut it in half, you get July 10th. That's it! What? You solved it! Let's go! That's the date of the spy attack! Okay, so it's not juicy, Justy. Yo, if you cut it in half, it says July 10th! Let's go! Dude, you're so oh, smart! Oh, oh. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we can run the next riddle right now, which is this dessert cutting riddle. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. this is going to test your logical brain. How can you cut a round cake into eight equal slices using only three cuts? <laughs> Now, instead of a cake, because I think this might take you a while, I'm gonna have donuts. What you mean I think this will take you a while? Uh, if you're able to solve it fast, I'll be impressed, but it's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend this donut is the cake. You need to divide this into eight equal parts using three cuts. Justin, stop. Okay, okay. see if you guys can solve this in your head before Justin this does. This is too easy. I have a cake like this. Uh-huh. Right? That's a cake. It's a cylinder. Right? I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna draw a right triangle right here, and then using the law of cosines, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and then something else I forgot. And if I do this with the radius, okay, okay, three quarters, yeah, I got a right, oh, I found a right triangle on this donut. There is actually a pyramid, also known as a pyramid. If you whittle it away, you actually have a perfect sphere. And I have actually figured it out. I need to cut it into eight pieces using three slices, right? Most people who don't have advanced geometric <laughs> They'll do three cuts like this. One, two, three. But that gives you six, not eight. You do one cut like this. Right? That's equal halves. Uh-huh. You do one cut like this. You have uh -huh. equal quarters. And then you do the bisectional line. No way. And you have eight. That's it. I'm a genius. Dude, okay. You cut like that. You cut like that. And you cut like that to get eight slices. Somebody, somebody get my wart. Get and my we have all these donuts that we can now share. Okay, Justin got that donut <laughs> riddle. Right, and we're gonna find the next riddle right now, which is this impossible riddle. What? Now, okay, only genius people can solve this next riddle. Okay. You ready? Yeah. It can be half without getting thinner. Huh? It can shine without fire. What? It disappears, but never for long. It's sometimes full, but never overflows. What is this? What am I? Okay, huh? so those are your four clues. Okay. You have to figure out what this is. Okay, it can be half without getting thinner. That's me, because I never get thinner. <laughs> <laughs> now, it can get half without getting thinner. It can shine without fire. Okay. What does that mean? It, it disappear disappears, but never for long. I got it. No it's sometimes way. Sometimes I got it. No way. I was actually confused because I was thinking all of this made it sound like it was a liquid. I actually got it. I thought it was a liquid. Cause like you're like, oh, okay, this soup got thinner. It can shine. I was like, liquid shines. Okay, it disappears. And, and the last thing about overflowing, I was like, it's a liquid. Uh huh. It's not. What is it? It's the moon. Yeah. Why is it the moon? Because the moon can be half without getting thinner. Cause it's just what you see. Right. It can shine without fire. The moon 
shines, I guess, I uh, kind of. It disappears sometimes. You you don't see the moon, but during the day, but it comes back, and it's a full moon sometimes, but it's now overflowing. Justin, let's go. You got that one right. Let's go, let's go dude. Let us know if you guys were able to solve that, and let's get into the next riddle right now, which is this donut fall riddle. What? All you have to tell me <laughs> is. How is this possible? Okay. So we have you falling from a giant skyscraper with donuts. <laughs> then immediately after, you are happily on the ground eating donuts. Can you figure this out? Are, <laughs> are you trolling? Maybe the donuts have something to do with it. I'm going to completely ignore the fact <laughs> there's a little Superman <laughs> in the back. And I'm actually going to cosplay as myself. Okay, oh. I am now cosplaying myself. <laughs> Myself in this riddle <laughs> and I will ignore the Superman who saves me and I will demonstrate the buoyancy effect of donuts. Okay. okay, so I have some nice donuts here. Okay, you're falling from a giant skyscraper. I'm now going to jump and show you how if I perfectly land <laughs> right on these donuts, I will bounce back up onto the chair. Here we <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Justin! Wait, you didn't bounce back up. Justin? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm back. It worked. <laughs> and I got my donuts. You didn't really bounce. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> Superman. Because it wasn't the donuts. <laughs> Justin thinks... The answer of how this is possible is that he was saved by Superman who was in the corner of the riddle. That's yes. correct! You're diving in the ocean when you come across a beautiful underwater cave network, okay? But soon enough, you get lost and come across three tunnel exits to choose from. Okay. The first tunnel contains a leopard shark <laughs> with an enormous mouth that could swallow you whole. Okay. okay. The second is full of box jellyfish, the most venomous species in the world. Okay. okay. The third tunnel is extremely long and your oxygen tank probably won't make the journey. Okay, which tunnel should you choose? Okay, so nope. you are the diver. Okay. How are you going to get out of this tricky situation? You really, you really... <laughs> <laughs> you really call this super tricky riddles. I don't know why you keep picking riddles with sharks in them. Obviously, this guy could swallow me whole. Look how thick he is, but he won't. I'm friends. I can speak shark. So we're friends. Really? We're friends, yeah. But the thick, thick shark isn't a leopard shark. Yes, he says, yes, I am. <laughs> no. I'm a thick leopard shark <laughs> hybrid. Is this really seriously a biology question? I don't know. The, the, the answer is probably something cheesy like leopard sharks are vegetarian. Why don't you ask him? What are his favorite foods? Would you eat a human? Nope, he says nope, he would only eat lanky little giraffes. <laughs> That's still not yeah, vegetarian. Looking at you. Now the second tunnel has jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish are nice. They're they're friendly. What do you think about them? Okay, I think box jellyfish are pretty dangerous. I don't like this. Can you just swim around them if you're such a good diver? Why don't you try and do that, Adam? Why don't you why don't you try and swim around this? Wow! <laughs> hey, it wouldn't do that though. Stop! Stop, Justin! Yeah, you got stuck about 900 times. Okay, so it's not the box jellyfish. It's either something cheesy like the leopard shark doesn't eat people, or it's something crazy like you lure the leopard shark over to the second tunnel and he eats the jellyfish. Yeah! That might be the answer, but do sharks eat jellyfish? He says, yes, I do. He says, guess my favorite kind of sandwich. Peanut butter and jellyfish. Yeah. I think I got it. I'm going to say it's the first one. It's some biology thing about leopard sharks. Because why? It's so specific. Why would I say leopard shark? It's got to be the leopard shark. The answer is the first tunnel. Leopard sharks are not dangerous to humans. I knew it. What is that? The one. <laughs> Nice! What do you mean? Dude, your survival instincts kicked in. It's because the thick shark told me. <laughs> yeah! Okay.
Okay, Jessica got that one right. We're gonna get into the next riddle, which is this police riddle, okay? A police officer was driving down a country road on a scorching hot day. He came across a hitchhiker who offered him a ride. Okay, that's not safe. The hitchhiker was so thankful, he said he'd been waiting for someone to pick him up for two hours. The hitchhiker then offered the police officer some of his ice cream. The police officer declined and said he was looking for a group of bank robbers. The hitchhiker said, a red car just sped past me. That must have been the robbers. But it was going the other way. We had to turn around. The police officer immediately took the hitchhiker to the police station. And the hitchhiker turned out to be one of the robbers. How did the police officer know that? So there was a hitchhiker. <sighs> he got in the car with the cop. Yeah. The hitchhiker said, oh, I saw the robbers. They were just back there. Then he got arrested. What was his mistake? <laughs> that guy he picked up probably still had his bank robber mask on. Probably looking like this. The, the robber probably had some obvious signs on him. He was a robber. He probably still had like his mask on, his costume. He probably had like the money from the robbery just like falling out everywhere. That you might know, be. some obvious signs. I think it would actually help if we did a reenactment. I will be the hitchhiker. Okay, okay. I'll have ice cream. Pretend there's an ice cream cone. Okay. You could be the cop. Okay. You're driving along. Okay, so you gotta wear the mask. Okay. <laughs> Can I get a ride, sir? Nope. Bye-bye. No, please. I'm a hitchhiker. I really, I have some ice cream. I really need a ride. Okay, that's the end. You wouldn't have picked me you up? You would be stuck out there on the side of your road with your ice cream for all of eternity. You don't want some? Nope. Are you sure? Wait! I feel like you are really trying to make me notice the ice cream. <laughs> Let me back this up. It was a scorching hot oh! 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 It has to do with the ice cream. Really? It's because it was a hot day. How did the ice cream not melt? So what does that mean? It tells me he was lying about standing on the side of the road for two hours. <laughs> Justin! Ah, that's a squishy! <laughs> you lie! <laughs> this the robber! The robber is the ice cream! Look how devious this guy looks. He says, give me the money right now. Put it in the cone and nobody gets hurt. What do you need money for? He says, for some new toppings. Give me the money. Otherwise, you better make like a banana. <laughs> And split! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see what the answer is. The answer is, the hitchhiker said he was waiting outside for two hours. But if that was true, his ice cream cone would have melted already. Let's go! So he lied to lead the police officer the wrong way. Oh. So you kind of got it right. I got that one right. Okay, Justin got that riddle right. And we can run to the next riddle right now, which is this snake spider riddle. What? And you gotta tell me, who is dumb? <laughs> <laughs> so it's us. So you seem to be trapped by a snake. Okay. And I seem to be playing with a giant spider. Okay, I look very happy with this snake. <laughs> he doesn't look very happy at you, though. I look very you happy. You are the spider's <laughs> oozing something out of its <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Looks like some venom. <laughs> okay, okay, we have two animals I am not super fond of. Here's your Spidey. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun. You having fun? Petting him. And he is suddenly oozing <laughs> some sort of green slime on you. Yeah, but it's all right. <laughs> Okay, he has just injected you with his venom. Uh, that's fine. Okay. I'm chilling here with a snake. Yep. I don't think he would do anything. He looks very calm. Really? Yeah, we're gonna come to an agreement here, snake. We're gonna be buddies. Otherwise, I will call in my friend, the evil ice cream cone on you. Do we have an agreement? He's shaking his head no. He's shaking his head. Justin! That whole simulation made absolutely <laughs> no sense. I'm gonna completely ignore this on-off switch on the giant snake. I'm gonna say you're the dumb one because this is a toy snake, apparently. Okay. <laughs> the snake is a toy. <laughs> he is the dumb one. Yeah! Dude, you got it right. Good job. I'm surprised that actually helped you. Okay, we're gonna run to the next riddle right now, which is this flying riddle. What? Okay, here's how it goes. Okay. I do not have wings, but I can fly. I don't have eyes, but I will cry. What am I? 
Okay. Huh? So you gotta figure that one out. What can fly that doesn't have wings? Your imagination can fly. And it doesn't have eyes, but it can cry. What cries but has no eyes? A donut. <laughs> a donut does not cry. Yes, it does. How? If it is a jelly-filled donut, <laughs> and I take a bite out of it, the jelly will begin to ooze out. <laughs> also known as crying. No. You could cry tears or you could cry out. Like my <laughs> soul is crying out. Is that funny to you? Is your soul crying out? <laughs> you about to cry out. <laughs> Justin. Ah! Now it looks like you're crying. Hold on, don't move. I don't cry from my neck. Oh, oh, a balloon. Here we go. Here's a balloon. Here's a balloon. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta blow this up to prove it. Okay? Look, listen. He's crying, he doesn't have eyes. And he doesn't have wings. But he can fly. It's a balloon. I'm a Genius! Okay, that's a really good guess. Let's see if Justin got that answer right. Yep. The answer is a cloud. Huh? Because a cloud doesn't have wings, but it flies. It doesn't have eyes, but it cries like it rains. So it's, it's not a balloon? No. Mm. And it's not the jelly donut either. But it is a cloud. Guys, let us know if you were able to get that. We're going to move on to the next riddle right now, which is this mystery riddle. Mystery riddle. Okay. In the morning, you find a carrot, a hat, and several pieces of coal lying in your yard. You know that nobody could have put these random objects here, so how did they get there? Okay, okay, so you find those three objects in your yard. How did they get there? Okay, a hat, a carrot, and some coal. Okay. So my first guess is it was probably Adam <laughs> cosplaying as some sort of weird bunny. <laughs> that's my first guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that's what happened, yeah. I'm gonna say it was you cosplaying. You are wrong. Eat the carrot, Adam. It's paper. Eat the you can't eat that. No. Yes. No. Now eat the carrot. Hey, yeah. So it's okay, the answer is not you cosplaying as a bunny rabbit? It is not that, no. How did these items get into your yard? What do these three objects have in common? What are they usually used for? Building snowmen! And I know this, Adam. <laughs> I know this. You want to know why I'm close friends with Olaf from Frozen? Really? Yeah, remember that little Olaf doll we played with months ago? Yeah. I'm good friends with him. We've been chatting. So he told you the answer? Yeah, think about it. Olaf has coal, right, for the eyes and for, like, other parts of his body. He got to care for the nose. But he doesn't have a hat. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I know some snowmen do. It's a snowman that melted. Okay, let's see what the answer is. It was warm at night and a snowman melted. Let's go. So Justin got that one <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now guys, we gotta choose who is more dangerous, okay? The puffer fish or the, what is that, a stingray? Oh, so both of these animals are underwater. I don't know which one is actually more dangerous. I've never seen either of these in real life. The puffer fish <laughs> looks pretty scary, though. Yeah, it's like Mrs. Puff. It's like me. <laughs> I get huge. Yeah. Okay, now, how could they be more dangerous? What is this? What is this? Some sort of... <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you play along in the comments. See if you can get these right. I think these videos have the actual data and science on who would win. Right. Now, the stingray, I believe it can sting you. Is this who more dangerous? Like, who oofs more, like, animals or, like, humans? It's who oofs more humans per year. Huh? So, we have to decide which one oofs more people on Puffer average. Fish not gonna oof humans. How do you get oofed by this guy? Well, pufferfish is one of those fishes that gets super big with spikes on it. So, maybe if someone picked it up and was, like, playing with it, and then it, like, all of a sudden got huge, it would just oof you. Ah! Yeah. Okay, I think it's gotta be the stingray, because it has the word sting. 
Wait, what's so funny? Well, go, go ahead. You had the word sting. <laughs> what's funny? No, go ahead. No, what's funny? I was saying, I, I saw a video of a pufferfish eating a carrot, and it's real scary. That's what you're thinking of? Yeah. I'm trying to explain my logic here. Wait, if we can put a video on screen of a pufferfish eating a carrot, that will show you these guys are crazy. That's how Adam eats. I know what video you're talking about. <laughs> That's how Adam eats. When he's sitting in his little booster chair. I'm a lock-in pufferfish. I'm gonna log in Stingray. It has the word Sting in its name. It's got a Sting laser beam ray. It's gonna oof a lot of people. Let's see. All right, let's go. What? Six <laughs> oofs per year. How does it oof people, guys? Somebody let us know in the comments. How does this fishy oof people? All right, next round. Nah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you're being ridiculous now. <laughs> this game's ridiculous. Who's more dangerous? A bear. Or a cow. <laughs> I would probably say a cow. Why? Because what if someone's deathly allergic to milk and they drink it and they. <clears throat> uh, uh, That's not they the cow's <laughs> fault. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, play along because we actually have a secret animal race video to show you at the end as well. Okay, I could see maybe the cow could be dangerous if it like sits on a farmer. <laughs> That's funny to you? Like, that's funny? That's people oofing. You laughing. You think a cow's gonna sit on a farmer? It might. <laughs> and then you will oof because that looks very heavy. A farmer is not dumb enough to let a cow sit on him. You don't know. <laughs> Old McDonald had a cow and it sat on him. Wow. wow. I'm gonna say cows, dude. Are you, you're trolling. A no. bear could oof about 10 cows. Could a cow beat a bear in a battle? No. But that's not what we're doing. We're not saying who will win. We're saying who is more humans. Right. It's gotta be the bear, dude. A bear just go one time. How would a cow even oof somebody? All right, I'm, I'm a lock in cow. Jazzy gonna lock in bear. Let's see who's Adam right. I'm gonna say a cow oofs more people by drowning them in. <laughs> okay. No! Yeah! No, somebody let us know in the comments. How is it even possible? How does a cow even oof somebody? It just runs into him? Like, I guess so, yeah. Or maybe it kicks it like with its hind legs or something. A cow kick people? Yeah. Man, are you kidding me? Okay, now we got a chimpanzee or a deer. Okay, now this one is tricky, bro. So both could be dangerous. Like if you steal a banana from a chimpanzee, look, he does not look happy. But <laughs> the deer has those antlers that it could probably just jam inside you. How often you think people steal <laughs> from chimpanzees? I mean, I don't know. Probably a lot. I would say the deer probably. Only because I would be friends with the chimpanzees. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I can speak to them. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, if there's any chimpanzees watching, they'll know what Justin said. Yeah. <laughs> what did you just tell them? <laughs> I said I'm hungry. I want some pizza. That's what I said. Okay, well, I'm a lock in chimpanzee. I'm gonna say deer, dude. This thing has like thorns growing out of its head. This gotta oof more people. That's true, but that chimpanzee looks angry. No, it looks happy. What do you mean? <laughs> That's how Adam looks when he gets some mail. <laughs> Alright, let's see the answer. Right, let's go. Let's go, 120 oops per year. That's more than a bear and a cow and everything. I could believe that though, for sure. Yeah, th this looks very dangerous, guys. Who's <laughs> <laughs> more dangerous than children? That's one big children. <laughs> One. Or versus a cone snail. Now, ice cream cone? immediately, guys, you might be thinking, well, how would a snail if anyone is this big? But I do know snails can be poisonous. So I'm trying they to think. just slither on your mouth and then you. Yeah. Uh, oh. The poison DNA is already in you. It's too late. Right. And I don't think chickens can be poisonous, right? I could have chicken. <laughs> you know what? Adam would say, what if someone allergic to eggs? <laughs> That's true. That is very that true. Well, the chill could just peck 
takes you to oof. That would take a long time. <laughs> how, how would a chicken even oof somebody? It's not even possible, bro. Hmm. Maybe if you're like driving and the chicken tries to cross the road and you have to swerve to the side and you and you oof. Why did chicken cross the road? To oof people. What? Yeah. I would say the snail. I and this this interesting. It says cone snail. That's probably a specific type of very venomous snail. Yeah, I'll go ahead and lock in the chicken. <laughs> okay, I would say a snail. Wow! <laughs> 164 deaths <laughs> per year from a chicken. This isn't real. This must be inaccurate. How's it oof 100 people a year? How? No, uh, this is totally how? real, guys. How, how? How? Guys, let us know in the comments. How is that possible? This literally has to be like somebody eats an eggy weggy and then he's allergic. I think how it happens is maybe like the feathers from the chicken falls off and it goes inside of someone's throat and they choke on it or something. Or, yeah, the chicken <laughs> sits on you. <laughs> Just like the cow. Now, all we're learning is farm animals are dangerous. Right. Huh? Okay, now it's a little bit different. We gotta decide who is the fastest. <laughs> Who's the fastest in the jungle kingdom? We got a, what's this, Komodo dragon. A dragon. Versus a sea turtle. So, a guys, turtle. we gotta see which one can move faster. Now, I think Komodo dragons are pretty quick. I mean, it has dragon. It can fly. Obviously, the dragon, bro. But the sea turtle, on land, it's probably pretty slow. But in water, I bet it's really good at swimming. But I don't think so, because aren't sea turtles like 900 years old. Yeah. They're not gonna swim super fast. I saw Finding Nemo and that guy was just chilling. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He would chill it. Yeah, crush. It's gotta be the Komodo dragon. It's I, gotta be the Komodo dragon. I think it's the turtle. I think it's trying to like make me think, oh, turtles are slow. They're not fast. I bet they're actually really fast. Which one would you rather get chased by? Which one would catch you, huh? You think the sea gonna... turtle will probably snap at my toes. I would not want snap that. Snap at Adam Swim Trunks. <laughs> and then Adam be in the water just away his booty. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? What does that have to do with who's fastest? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a lock in turtle. I'm gonna say the Komodo dragon, bro. It better be the dragon. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the turtle can swim at 21 miles an hour. It probably can get that fast if it's swimming in a current. Like underwater. Well, that's not fair. All right, here we go. Next round. Okay, who's the fastest, a tiger or a gazelle? Now, right away, I'm thinking it's gonna be the gazelle, bro. Man, this one's actually very hard because I think both of them are pretty quick at a running. A gazelle, I don't know what a gazelle is. It looks like a deer. Like, look how fast. Actually, these legs, could it go that fast? These legs, those are really skinny legs, man. Yeah, that's true. But this guy looks like he's made to run, man. He looks like Bambi. I think it's the tiger. Oh, because in the wilderness, the tiger will probably catch the gazelle and oof it. Right, yeah. Don't know. Him. He's cute looking. Yeah, that's true. And the tiger probably eats a lot of frosted flakes. The tiger's cute looking too. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> that's true. I'm not allowed to have frosted flakes. There's so much sugar. I just hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I get really fast if I eat them. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's tiger. I'll let you decide what you want to pick. Tony the tiger. At the end, that secret racing video that we're going to show you guys later, that might actually settle which one's faster. Okay. But we'll watch that in a bit. I, I think it's the gazelle, bro. All right, I'll lock in tiger. I think it's the gazelle. All right, let's go. Let's go! Wow, 43 miles an hour. That's a really close race. 40 miles per hour? That's real fast, guys. That's ridiculously fast. Wow. Now, who's the fastest? We got Foxy. We got a little fox. Or we got a hippo pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be the fox. What do you mean? A hippo walks so slow. I think the hippo is actually pretty fast. Because hippos can swim. Right. And I think hippos are really good at swimming. Hmm. This one's real tricky. Um. It's gotta be the fox, man. It's not even close, man. Guys, play along. I, I really don't know what the answer is. That's what a hippopotamus looks like? Yeah. We saw these at the zoo. I only seen the one on um, Backyard again. Oh. <laughs> we saw this at the zoo? Yeah, remember? No, I was too busy hanging out with the penguins. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> That's all I do. I go to the zoo. I do that for about three hours. <laughs> I'll say the hippo. It's gotta be the fox. Let's go! Wow! Woo! That makes sense. Okay, now we got a cheetah or a falcon. Now, this might be very tricky. I'm thinking everybody knows cheetahs are fast. That's like what they're known for. Falcon can 
fly. Right, and this is like the falcon flying speed versus the cheetah running speed. Yeah, because the falcon can't run. But that's Chester Cheetah. Wow, Chester Cheetah looks so cool. Mm. Yeah, what if, but did the cheetah eat Cheetos before the race? Yeah, yeah that might be. That's important to remember. Mm. If it ate flaming Hot Cheetos, he'd be going vroom everywhere. Let's say neither of the animals ate anything before the race. This guy would eat Cheetos, and this guy would eat Fruit Loops. Oh, yeah. Because of Toucan Sam. Yeah. I, I'm going to lock in the Falcon. I think the Falcon might be faster because it could fly. You want to take that guess? No, I'll say Chester the Cheetah. I believe in Cheetos. Okay, here we go. Oh! It was the Falcon. Wow, that was a close race, though. Okay, now we have to spot the hidden animal. What? What are we looking at? Some leaves? Yeah, these are just a bunch of leaves. What? There's no animal here. Wait a minute. Is uh, that actually an animal? Where? Okay, guys, I'll trace it with the mouse. I think this is the head of the this animal. The, of what? This is the body. These are the legs. Do you guys see that? Damn. And this is like the tail. What kind of animal is that? I think it probably evolved to look like this. So that way, like, birds and stuff don't even see it. It just looks like a leaf. That's real cool. Yeah, why don't you make, like, a tree and leaf? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Make, like, a tree and leaf. <laughs> You're saying this is animal was that chameleon i think this is like a type of chameleon yeah let's see if you're right adam no way wow, wow. that's crazy it was a chameleon okay we gotta spot another hidden animal now this was tricky oh i see a little bug right here ha <laughs> Mm, that might also just be like a rock. It's a snail. I think it's like a big animal. What? We're looking at a tree. How can it be a big animal? You see a squirrel? Guys, let us know in the comments if you see this. I'm looking really hard. I don't see anything. Yeah, guys, look super close. Do you guys see anything? I think I might see something. I think you might be cheating somehow. Guys, I'm not going to say where it is, but I think I might see an owl. Like a bird. What? Yeah. Oh, oh. Do you see the owl? I'm looking. All right. I see a snail. Okay. That's an animal. I see a stick bug right here. All right. That's a stick bug. Anything else? I'm looking! <laughs> <laughs> I see it. Where? I actually see the owl. No. Look, you got two little eyes and a beak. I, I think that's just some bark. <laughs> Guys, if you look close, I think the owl is right here. So look, this what? is the ears. Th these are the eyes. And this is the body. Do you see Where are this? the eyes? What do you mean? Right here. This is one of the eyes, and this is the other eye. Oh, its eyes are closed. Yeah. No, that's the owl. Look, there's the <laughs> eye and the beak. <laughs> Obviously, let's see who's right. Are you ready to be amazed? I am. Yeah. With the owl right here. Clearly. Right here. <laughs> no way. Okay, now, what animal is this, guys? Let us know if you can get these at home. What kind of dog are we looking at? So it's either a crocodile or an alligator. I don't even know the difference between what? the two. Crocodile or alligator. That's a golden retriever. That is not a golden retriever. What kind of dog is this, <laughs> and why does it look like that? <laughs> this isn't a dog, Justin. This is huh? a gator. What? Yeah. Gatorade? Something like that, yeah. Montgomery gator. I was just thinking that, yeah. But, okay, I actually, I know there is a difference between a crocodile and an alligator. I just don't know what it is. Is there a difference? I think so. Guys, let us know if you know what the difference is. They're two different animals? Yeah. Huh? And this is one of them? Yeah, I'm going to say it's an alligator. I say it's a crocodile. Okay. Crocodile. Let's see what the answer is. Okay. Now, Montgomery gator is an alligator because his gator. So Yeah. Okay, that's why Adam picked alligator probably. It was an alligator. Oh, cool. What's the difference? Uh, I don't know. Guys, let us know in the comments if you know the difference. Well, I thought these were one animal, bro. Yeah. Maybe the crocodile is like the brother and the alligator is the sister. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, now it's either a rabbit or a hare. A rabbit or a hare. I That's thought... not a hare. I, no, like a hare is a type of animal. These are all new animals I never saw in the picture books. Right. I'm going to say this That's is a... a rabbit. I'm going to say it's a hare. Yeah, because I think rabbit. rabbits... Rabbits kind of look like Mr. Hops. That doesn't look like Mr. Hops, dude. That's one thick rabbit, though. <laughs> yeah, he's eating a lot of carrots. Dude, is that a rabbit or a hare? Which, what kind is Vanny? A rabbit or a hare? A rabbit. Hey, I'm saying rabbit. All right. Easy, easy. Let's go! Oh, 
Oh, you got it. What's that? So ba basically rabbits <laughs> just be super thin. <laughs> I don't know the difference. Let us know also in the comments. Okay, what kind of cat is this? Uh, okay, it's either a leopard or a jaguar. Are these like types of cats? These are kind of, they're like wild cats. So That's a cheetah, so it's <laughs> neither. <laughs> I don't have any idea. That's, that's a cheetah. What the difference is between a leopard or it's a jaguar? It's a trick question, dude. That's a, that's a cheetah. I don't think that's a cheetah. What, what do you mean? Cheetahs look different. We just saw a cheetah. Yeah. There are this many animals on the planet? Yeah. I thought there was cats, dogs, and chilkas. <laughs> and cows. That's about it. Yeah, what? there's more than that, though. This is, uh, this is like a big cat. I'll say jaguar. I think it's a leopard. All right, let's see. I'm just guessing. I had no idea. If I get it right, though, I knew all along. If okay. I got it wrong, I'm getting hacked. Jaguar. Leopard. Oh, what? Wow, oh, I got it right. What's the difference, bro? And there's a cheetah somewhere? Wow. And tigers? They're all different. And lions? Huh? Okay, now these are just getting ridiculous. A turtle or a tortoise? Those are the same thing, bro. I think the difference between them is the tortoise is a lot bigger. So I think this I think is it's a, a tortoise. I think it's a turtle. Because <laughs> turtles are all cute and they just love eating like grapes. You think it's a turtle? I think, a, I think it's a tortoise. Do you know if you rearrange the letters in tortoise, it spells to rise. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your brain just works in crazy ways. <laughs> All right, let's see what the answer is. It says toot rise. <laughs> see that? Oh, nice. Go! So that's interesting. A turtle has flippers. Oh, wow. Guys, we don't know if any of these videos are scientifically accurate. We're sorry if they're not. Oh, now we got, is it the fry llama? <laughs> is that llama or what's this? Al alpaca. Alpaca. What is this, bro? What are these animals? I know a llama. That looks like a llama. Looks like when we go to the petting zoo. Adam, uh, he loves the llamas. Yeah, because look at their necks. It makes me feel like I'm not the only one with a super long neck anymore. I don't think that, is that a llama? Maybe it's an alpaca. Llamas have like, um, sometimes they have like the funny haircuts. You know what I mean? Yeah, so which one you want to lock in? I'll say this one's an alpaca. I'll say it's a llama. Okay. Adam likes the llamas because it reminds him of his <laughs> mama. <laughs> and, and I don't like drama. Oh, wait, no alpacas have the funny haircuts. Are you kidding? Once again, we have a funny looking dog. <laughs> needs to get a haircut. We what? got a, either a hedgehog or a porcupine. I think I actually know this one. I think I actually know this one. All right, let everyone know what it is. A hedgehog is like sod. Right, they run really fast. Guy, I don't know if he could run really fast. A hedgehog, I know people have hedgehogs as pets. They're like really small. I've seen videos on the internet. I think it's a porcupine. I think I'm gonna go with hedgehog. You think that's Sonic? Yeah, I'll go with hedgehog. I'm gonna go with porcupine. Can I get it? Yeah! There are three doors, uh -huh. and you're gonna try and pick which door you think is the safest that you would uh, open. Uh, okay, uh, so here we go. I got a killer, a lion who hasn't eaten in three years. <laughs> That sounds like me. <laughs> and a massive fire. Okay. Wait, one of these doors is supposed to be safe? Yeah, you gotta open one of them to get out. Right off the bat. <laughs> I'm thinking, honestly, the lion who hasn't eaten in three years might be safe because it's probably dead. <laughs> probably. But somehow... He is still roaring. He's still <laughs> kicking. So my first instinct is the lion. However, I am trained for massive fires because I am actually trained at the ouch at the fire academy. I would be able to run through the massive fire. Really? Yes. You think going into a room filled with fire, you would be able to survive? 100%. Now, if you went through that room, <laughs> you would instantly become a chili head <laughs> and probably pass out. <laughs> but I would be fine. We're going to do a real life simulation. You think you're a real firefighter? I think you're a real chili head. <laughs> Let's do a real simulation. Okay. And you hold this fire oh, up. Yeah, this fire made of paper, sure. So if I open the third door and there was a massive fire, this is a reenactment of what would happen. Stop it! It's the reinforcement. I knew you were gonna take his hat and. Okay, but you're only hitting me. I'm gonna body slam the 
Are you okay? Okay, so I'm not gonna pick the third door. The massive fire would end my life. So if you're not gonna pick the fire, you have to choose between the killer or the lion who hasn't eaten in three years. Now, one thing I do notice, if you look closely, mm -hmm. the killer, why is that square on the doorknob? Huh? This, oh! Dude, these last two are actual windows. This one is a glitch. Dude, I didn't even notice that. That's smart. I think that's actually it. I think it's the kill. I don't think that's real. Because why is it? Why is so the door like So you think it's like, like, a, like a poster of like a picture of, of a killer? That's what I'm saying. It's a glitch. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Here we go. Okay, it's opening. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. What? The fire door open? Wait, okay, they're both... Uh, the why? Oh, why? 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 He's dead as he hasn't eaten for three That's years. What I said in the beginning. <laughs> no. I You're actually so said that like first and then I overthought it. You're too smart. My IQ is too high. Are you serious? <laughs> I got that one wrong. <laughs> this game trash. I'm sorry. That riddle made no sense. I bet I could write a better riddle. Really? I will write a riddle and say it at the end of this episode. If anybody gets it right in the comments, I will choose a few people and DM them on Instagram. Okay, at the <laughs> end of this episode? Yes, at the end. Okay. Okay, let us know if you guys got that right. And we're going to find the next riddle right now, which is this island bridge riddle. Okay. Okay, so there are two islands connected through a bridge. Okay. So there's a bridge in the middle, okay. right? Okay, okay. Now, there's a boy and an apple tree on one island and a girl on the other. Okay. Okay, the bridge can hold the boy and one apple at the same time. Or else it'll break. But... He needs to bring the girl two apples. What? Okay, the boy's only allowed to cross the bridge once. He cannot go back. What should he do to get the girl her two apples? Adam, I thought you told me we're going to come in and play some riddles, some games. You did not tell me I needed to know calculus. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the quadratic equation. B squared minus apples minus boy divided by bridge girl. I don't know. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I brought some apples I have. Uh, and now you can put this on. Uh, oh, because I'm the girl in the riddle? Yes, this is going to help me solve the puzzle. Okay. So how would you get me two apples? If this was real life. I saw this on the other side of the bridge. I'm eating these apples myself. <laughs> I'm not sharing. Wait, wait, wait. What if I took the wig off? Then I would eat four of the apples and I would take one and throw no. it at you. <laughs> what the heck? I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just, okay, I'm just, I'll, okay, I'll put I'm the wig back kid. on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, okay, using advanced physics, I have calculated the buoyancy coefficient of an apple. Do apples float? Yeah. Maybe that's the answer. Hold on, let's see. Oh, they do oh, float! They float! Apples float! Oh! Is the answer that I take one apple and carry it across the bridge. I'm going across the bridge and then I have the other apple in the water and I just scoot it along. Oh! Big brain. Dude, big brain. that's or, smart. Or I could take one apple across, take another one, eat it, and then regurgitate it. <laughs> mommy bird style. In front of the girl. Is that the answer? No. Is that the answer? <laughs> mommy bird style? Yes. Okay, so it's either that, what I said with the water, or it's that he takes the apple and throws it to her. Uh-huh. Uh, it could be that, or maybe he just takes both apples and gets in the water and swims. I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the answer is. Here we go. Let's see if you got it right. The answer oh, is man. he needs to cross the bridge juggling, so one of them is always in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Because when he's juggling, one apple is in the air, so it doesn't count towards the weight. So technically, that he's only holding one apple. That is the thing I've ever heard in my whole life. <laughs> okay, I got my apples. Uh -huh. Now I'm juggling the apples. Wait, you can actually juggle? I can actually juggle and cross the bridge. And then I, I, I <laughs> cross it, and I'm still juggling. <laughs> and then I actually eat one apple. <laughs> <laughs> and then I throw this one again. These riddles 
are trash. <laughs> okay, you did pretty well. I still got that wrong you though. Did I, Justin, you just snatched my wig. <laughs> okay, Justin, we're gonna move on to the next riddle right now, which is this breakup riddle. Oh, man. Okay, so in this riddle, a girl and her boyfriend just broke up. Oh. A girl came home crying her boyfriend broke up with her. Oh, no. She started to break the thing. Uh, why? The telephone with his messages she to just her. She smashed her own phone. Yeah, pictures of them together. Okay, that's kind of reasonable. Flowers that he gave her. That's gonna make okay, a mess. So, what broke first? I definitely have had uh, relationships before, so this one hits real close to home. Really? You know? Yes. Chicken does not count. Neither does donuts. Okay, this one's a little bit tricky then. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna come in with some snacks to help improve my brain power. Okay, does it gonna help? Yeah, because it's called smart food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you think is the answer to the riddle? Oh, I don't know. I was just kind of hungry. <laughs> but I can feel the power going straight to my brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you tricked me, didn't you? Did I? No. Because the first thing that broke was her heart. Oh! Dude! Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's see if you got this right. Justin thinks her heart broke first. That's a little trick trick answer. Let's see. What broke first? Her heart! Dude, it's so hard! Okay, we're gonna win the next riddle right now, which is Who will survive? Oh man. Okay, so this is a nice simple one. All you gotta tell me is which one of these two people will survive. Okay, so we have a guy that is hanging by a rope, and underneath him is the ocean. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy in like an aquarium mm -hmm. surrounded by water in a glass, but the glass is starting to crack. One of these people will survive and one will not. You have to tell me which one will. This is the only information I get. That's all you get. Ah, uh, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, well, the guy on the right is just, he's just straight up in trouble. I don't know why you're in an underwater passageway <laughs> to begin with. And there's like piranhas. That's not good. The one on the left, he looks okay because because, I mean, what if he can just swim? Like, he'll be all right. Or what if the rope doesn't break? That's true. <laughs> okay, okay. Now I'm in a simulation with the water under me. Okay. I'm hanging on. Oh, the guy, if he's underwater, he probably has no cell service. But the guy hanging, he has cell service. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to whip out the just be food. <laughs> Hello, hello, I'm actually now calling you, the audience at home, my lifeline. Wait, you're calling the Lanky fam? Yes, who do you think will survive? Okay, cool, thanks, thanks. What'd they say? You weren't expecting that, were you, Adam? No. I had a lifeline this whole time. I had the viewers at home, they told me. Like I just said, that guy has cell service. He could call somebody for help. Uh -huh. He'll be fine, or he could swim. I'm gonna say the guy on the left is gonna survive. Okay, so Justin thinks the guy hanging by a rope would be just fine. 100%. Because he could either call somebody to come give him a swim lesson. Like I just did. Or he would fall in and just swim out. This guy, you do not think would survive. No, he's at the bottom of the ocean. He got no cell service. See, let's see what the answer is. Okay, it yes. says the water pressure will crush True. him. But this guy can just swim out. Okay. You got it right. Nice. Nice. Okay, Justin got that one right, which means you got two correct. Two wrong. Oh man. There's one left, and if you get this one right, you win the prize at the end. This is the important one. Okay, yeah. here okay, we go. Okay, here we go. We're gonna run the next riddle right now, which is this princess riddle. Oh, oh man. Okay, 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 here we go. So, a king organized a contest for those who wanted to marry his daughter, okay. the princess. She, she was put, put into a 50 by 50 foot room uh -huh. with four men uh -huh. standing on small boxes in the corners of each room. What kind of contest is this? <laughs> they could not leave the boxes. Okay. The first one to touch the princess's hand would be the winner. Okay. One guy figured out how and married her. What did he do? Okay, this one's actually kind of tricky. Okay, I need you to think real hard. Use everything you just learned about riddles 
on this final riddle. Okay, I'm now on my box. Prince Cookie is on his. <laughs> uh, Prince Jimmy needs a box to stand. Oh, he can actually, he's gonna stand on boxes. <laughs> we have the princess. Okay, and I'm the princess? Yes. Okay. I have one very important question. Why would any of us want to touch your sweaty head? Because <laughs> okay. I'm a princess. Dude, uh, this is for everything. This is for, if you get this right, you win the game. Is it because the princess can still move? What if one of them says, hello, I have some snacks. I have some giraffe food. <laughs> would you like it? Take the giraffe food. Do it. I got it. I got it. Maybe. Is that the answer? Do they just have to convince her to like, Choose them. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Mm. Okay, the answer is he asked the princess to come over. Let's go! <laughs> okay, now you have to pick which way is more safe, going to the left or to the right. Oh, it's a killer clown! Oh! You watch out, I'll bite you and I'll sting no. you. No! Whoa! We might be onto something here, okay? Wait, can you drink from it? Uh, Justin! Uh, what are you uh, doing? What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bot. Yeah! Today, we're gonna see if Justin can solve some tricky riddles with a twist. Justin will now be showing several different riddles. If he can guess the answer to most of them correctly, he gets to play a special game with prizes at the end. Let's go. But before we get into that, we wanna give a big thank you to our sponsor of this video, Filmora9. Now, you guys have seen us work with Filmora9 before. We love them and we have used their software. A lot of times we get comments or DMs from you guys saying you guys wanna start making your own content, maybe post it on, you know, Instagram. Instagram, YouTube, uh, maybe TikTok. And to make videos, one very important part of the process is to have a really powerful editing software, and Filmora 9 is a great option. Filmora 9 is a really powerful piece of software. We've actually edited videos on it before, and they're actually doing a really exciting giveaway. Now, to this giveaway, there's kind of two different parts. Okay. Okay, now the first 100 people to use the link in our description will get a seven-day free license of the software. Okay. That's the first 100 people. Now, the second part is if you guys do end up getting Filmora, whether you guys get the free trial by clicking that link or if you end up purchasing the software if you guys make a video inside Filmora, there's a feature called split screen or split video okay so it's almost like how when we do zero budgets right it's like two videos at the same time uh -huh. if you guys post that video on YouTube and use hashtag fun with Filmora and hashtag lanky box we will actually be watching those videos and we'll pick our favorite and send that person a $50 Amazon gift card okay guys Filmora is awesome it's really easy to use I love the the software so definitely go check it out guys it is a great low budget video editing software we will be watching your guys' uploads guys check it out use the link in our description let's go and let's get into the first riddle right now which is this animal money riddle okay here we go a duck got nine dollars wait what a spider no got no hold on <laughs> that's a very wealthy duck wait okay b got 27 dollars okay okay how much money will a cat get okay so that's the riddle see if you can figure this out what how is this a riddle <laughs> this a are you math jealous? problem are you jealous because a duck has more money than you oh wow, significantly <laughs> more try and figure this riddle out it's pretty tricky okay now first off i was thinking okay maybe this has to do with the letters somehow okay, okay duck d a b c d Fourth letter, that's not nine dollars. <laughs> okay, Spidey. You're really good at the alphabet. Spidey. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> B got 28. B is the second letter of the alphabet. How they got 27? Wait a minute, hold on. I'm doing real math. B E E. B is the second letter of the alphabet. Of the alphabet. Okay. E is the fifth letter of the alphabet. 27 is two. And then if you add these seven. Wait. Oh, God. This isn't working. I have to consult some expert. Oh, yeah. Quack, quack, yeah. <laughs> this is that, my is friend. That a duck? This is my That's friend. That's a chicken. What? <laughs> what do you think a chicken says quack? Uh, no, a no. chicken says beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that's not what he said. That's literally what a baby chicken looks this like. This is what a baby duck looks like. <laughs> the super thick duck <laughs> will now reveal to me his secrets. Okay, now you have $9, Mr. Duck. Where did you get this money? 
Wait, he's gonna tell you the answer to the riddle? He's actually, he actually just told it to me. He actually just told it to me. What did he say? So the thick duck is coming in. He says, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> he said, give me your money. <laughs> and then he's gonna reach in his pocket. Wait, oh, no, my money. Oh, and he's got nine dollars. Let's go. How does this and help he, you solve the he, riddle? So now my friend, the thick duck, is gonna call it his friend. No way. The thick cat. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, meow. It is apparently bad luck to have a cat cross your path, huh? That's true. He is crossing your path, Adam. You're gonna run into some bad luck here. And actually, he is. Because my friend, the thick duck, is coming back in. He's not happy. <laughs> oh, the thick duck is now angry. He says, give me some more money right now. You took all quack, my money. Quack. Justin. Yeah. I need you to focus. I got it. The thick duck actually taught me. I bet the money is correlated to how dangerous the animal is. <laughs> Think about it. A duck, if it robbed you, is getting about nine bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's getting about nine bucks. If a spidey threatens to bite you, you're gonna give it a lot of money. 36 bucks. That makes sense. Also, you don't want to get stung by a bee. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, bee's dangerous. So, so do you cat... think a cat is more dangerous than a bee? No. Is it more dangerous than a duck? Yes. Based on my logic right here, the answer is going to be between 9 and 27. What do you think it is? I'm going to lock in the answer at 13. You want to know why? Why? Because 13 is between 9 and 27. Okay, big brain. And also, a little bit unlucky, a little bit spooky. Reminds me of Friday the 13th. Oh! My brain is huge, and my friends are thick. <laughs> okay, Justin's going to lock in 13. Guys, make your final guesses. The correct answer to this riddle is the cat will get $18. Wait, I was actually close. Because each animal gets $4.50 per leg huh? that the animal has. Huh? So the duck has two legs, so it gets $9. Huh? A spider has eight legs, so it gets $36. Uh -huh. Yeah, so a cat has four legs, Four times four dollars and fifty cents is eighteen. Oh, okay. Except you're forgetting two important things here. What? One. Who do I look like? A calculus <laughs> professor. <laughs> and number two, a bee does not have six legs. Yeah, it does. No, it does not. A bee has exactly two. I got one here and one here. Yeah, two except legs. for you're not a bee. Oh yeah. <laughs> Justin, oh, yeah. what's this stinger, huh? Justin. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Justin. I got that riddle wrong. Ah! Now, Justin, before we get into the next riddle, I'm actually going to give you an opportunity to win all of my money at the end of this video. Oh, okay. Want to try? Yeah. Okay, guys, watch to the end to see if Justin wins this. But for now, let's get into the next riddle, which is this mystery word riddle. Okay, so now all you have to guess is what this mystery five-letter word is. Five letters, yeah. it's something you can eat. Okay, it's something you can eat. The second clue is something you get from the sun. Oh, wait, wait. So it's like the four letters, something you get from the sun. Correct. The last three letters of the word is something you do every day. Okay. The last two letters of the word is an email symbol. What is that? I don't and keep going. Oh, what? And the last letter of the word is a drink. I actually got it. I got the answer when I saw the something you do every day. Because what's the first thing I thought of? It was eight. And does that make sense with the other two clues? It does because the last letter, drink, T, is a drink. Okay. Email symbol. I guess at, like, yeah. at symbol. Okay. I guess. Okay. Okay. That gives me a hint on this. Something you get from the sun. It's heat. Okay, and heat. then what's the last letter? What is a food that's five letters and it has heat as the last four words? I know what the answer is. What? Obviously, it is. <laughs> Obviously, it is Cheeto. <laughs> Done. Lock it in. Give me a ding on the side, please. Yeah. That would make sense. Yep. Except yep. for Cheeto is six letters. No, it's not. Yes. I will reconsider. <laughs> hold on, hold on. All you need is that last letter and you know it's a food. Okay, something you can eat. Yes. What are things you eat? <clears throat> oh, I got it. Yeet. <laughs> yeet. Yes. Yeah, yeet on him. <laughs> okay, but you can't eat a yeet. What? <laughs> you are two letters away from the correct answer. I'm, you try to trick me. You an idiot. After Y, there is only the letter Z. There is not another letter. What you mean two letters away? What if you went the other direction? X, W, okay. You don't think the answer is wheat? Nope. 
It's not something I can eat. What's in bread? Not something I can eat. I have a gluten <laughs> intolerance. You, you fool. <laughs> you dunce. I thought of this really? hours ago. You have a gluten intolerance? I do. You So there's not gluten in honey buns? Or all the bread that you've eaten on this show? Or all the donuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, Adam, I used to eat those things. Then my doctor said you have a gluten intolerance. Don't eat really? them. It's not Who's something your I doctor? Can... It's Dr. <laughs> Duck. Yeah. <laughs> you best watch out. Why? Yeah. <laughs> He's a doctor. I'm just saying, I know this was a possible answer, we, but it was not an answer I considered. <laughs> Okay, the correct answer to the riddle was wheat. Okay. Let us know if you guys got that right, Justin. I'm going to say, even though it took you a while to get there. What you mean? You got that one right. Let's go. And we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is this clown shark riddle. <laughs> All you have to tell me is which way is safe. What is this? <laughs> so on the left side of me is a super jacked robo bee shark. <laughs> It's a half shark, half bee hybrid. On the other side of me is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> no, it's an evil clown. Okay, now you have to pick which way is more safe, going to the left or to the right. Now see if you guys can solve this before Justin. I mean, this one's obvious. This is called Riddles with a Twist. <laughs> okay, so to one side of me is, oh, oh, it's a killer clown, oh. And on the other side is my friend, the thick shark. Wait, why do I have to be the clown? Why can't I be the ripped bee? You think you as ripped as this guy? <laughs> you watch out, I'll bite you and I'll sting no. you. No! Okay, 100% the safe way is the robo shark bee. Look at him. Yeah, but in the riddle, you look terrified. Yeah, but which way am I looking? Towards the Towards clown. Towards the clown. In real life, when I look this way, I'm happy. When I look... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> see, see, the shark B is the safe way to go. Guaranteed. Okay. Done. Okay, Justin thinks the correct answer is he should go towards the shark B monster True. because the clown is scary. And the answer is Justin should go to the left towards the shark because sharks can't breathe on land. I'm happy I got that right. So the but... monster would like pass out immediately. Let's okay, go. Let us know if you got that right. Justin got that one correct. And we can find the next riddle right now, which is this fruit riddle. Okay. okay. Okay, now, all you have to tell me is which fruit can you drink from? Okay. Okay, okay. so there's a bunch of fruits here. There's bananas, pineapples, strawberries, oranges, kiwis. First off, you can drink from any fruit because they all have liquid. You know. Okay. That's fair. That's okay. fair. But I'm assuming you don't have a blender or like a juice, like a way Correct. of juicing them. Correct. Okay. So there's only one way to figure this out. How? <laughs> I'm going to come in with my trusty straws and try it out. Okay. 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 So I brought in some fruits from the riddle. Okay. okay so you're okay. going to see which of these you can drink from. Yes. Starting with the orange. And I have a little <laughs> orange straw. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Are you okay, okay, okay. Whoa! We might be onto something here, okay? Wait, can you drink from it? Let me try! <laughs> oh, I actually got some! Wait, really? Yeah, it's almost like drinking orange juice! <laughs> That's crazy! What do you think orange juice is made from? It's made from orange juice. Okay, this works. Okay. You can drink from an orange. <laughs> okay. What is so funny? Now let me try the lemon. This is a bad idea. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Adam, why don't you try to drink it? I don't want to drink your lemon straw. What? Why not? It's a little juice box. Is it working? Oh! Oh! That actually works. <laughs> nice! Okay, it's okay. really sour, So boy. the lemon also works. Okay, and last but not least, a nice little melon here to There's try There's no out. way a straw is going to go through here. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're also forgetting that I have my special Adam's iPhone. No. So. Justin. Uh, Justin. Uh, stop. Yeah. Stop. That's Gosh. my phone. There's watermelon juice in the charging port. Are you kidding me? That's the best one so far. You ruined my phone and all you care about is your watermelon juice. Don't you think that me and my feelings are more important stop than Stop. Don't be so angry. Try it. 
Pretty good, huh? Yeah, but my phone's still broken. How does this help you solve the riddle? You have three answers. This riddle's busted. We just drank from three fruits. Justin's gonna lock in. He thinks all of these are it's fruits a trick. you can drink it's from. It's a trick. You can do all of them. Here's the correct answer, Justin. You were so close. They never said you only had to pick one. So maybe the it is The answer all is a strawberry. Huh? Because it asked what you can drink from a strawberry. It was a pun on straw. Today, we're trying to go max level in brain out. <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? <laughs> what? Yo, Adam, Adam, how'd they get this photo of you, bro? <laughs> what the heck? That doesn't look like me. Adam, they really caught you in 4K, bro. <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Put the cheeks on me and then put the hair. Does that even look like me? <laughs> I looks, can't like even a, tell. looks like a baby photo of Adam. <laughs> 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 okay, now this is count the number of hairs. Now, guys, we played Brain Out before, but today we're going max level now. I, there's no way I could count. I would count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count that high, dude. How are you supposed to count? There's like 400 hairs there. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? You had to move the, the wig out of the way? Yeah, he was secretly bald. Dude, now it's a photo of baby Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Can you count that out, boy? <laughs> Can you count that many hairs? You try to, you try to convince us you're not a little goo goo gaga baby. You can't, you can't say any English words. All right, it's three. It's got to be three. It's got to be three, bro. It's got to be three. Enter. Done. Nice. We did it! Nice. Nice. We're geniuses, dude. We're genius. Help the baby duckling drink the water. Okay, now this is water. I just give him the water. Go eat it. Drink it. Yeah! Oh, nice! What? That makes no sense. Okay, do not tap. I'ma tap it. I'ma tap the button. Wow! Oh, what? Whoa, it blows up the earth. Okay, what do we do, Adam? What do we do? I would say, what if you, like, take the earth and put it on the button? Wait, oh. it says, oh, you just have to wait. Oh, oh cool. Oh, big brain. Okay, it says, find something you can eat. So, okay, so this one, I should be very good at. And I got Foxy here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, <laughs> up here we have, what is that? What is that, a beanbag chair? What's that on the upper left? What's that, bro? What's that? I think it's a potato. That's not, that's not a potato. Okay. How do you know? It looks like a beanbag chair. Then you got a bucket, like the red bucket. We got a <gasps> clock. Oh! We got a Oh, do you need to like move time forward so like the potato grows into like a It's not potato. a potato, Adam. Oh, what? It, how is that something you can eat? What was that? Wait, what? I, mean, I guess you made like the paw of like, I don't even know, a chicken? I think I made like a tomato. It says put the giraffe into the fridge. Okay. <laughs> I think I another photo of Adam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you probably got to make the draft smaller or the fridge bigger. I'm going to make the fridge bigger. Oh! Wow, it worked. I'm a genius, bro. Let's go. Now, which one is the raw egg? It's raw! <laughs> I'm going to guess the bottom right. Nope. Eh, I guess what you... Oh, dude, I got a huge brain idea. I, guys, I, guys, I literally figured this out. You probably got to take two eggs and hit them together, bro. That tells you what they are? Well, because then it'll be raw. You know what I mean? It'll just break. You know what I mean? Oh, hmm. no. Never mind. I'm not a genius. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm going to tap them all then. I don't know. Just guess. They're, they're, none of them are right. Raw. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, you have to tap it a bunch of times. Oh, even after the X goes. Oh, nice. Wow, that was tricky. That was pretty nice. Okay, it says help the giraffe eat the apple. Okay, okay. Why are there so many giraffes <laughs> in this game? <laughs> because, Adam, they know you're playing. Wait, okay. <laughs> that means we're being watched. Dude, Dude what if the game Man. put a camera inside of nah, Foxy? Nah, don't brain hacker spy on me, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make the giraffe's neck bigger. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Wait, that actually worked really well. <laughs> it turned into Adam. Okay, 
it says put three coins into the piggy bank. How many coins are in and out? Okay, that's obviously it's three. Like when I put three donuts into my belly, that's three. Or when I take mm. three of Adam's credit cards, I put them into my credit card, that's three. Okay. Right, now, but what about if there's already coins in the piggy bank? I didn't even think about that. Hmm, can you break the piggy bank? Dude, you're a genius. You gotta break the... Oh, you're a genius. Whoa, how many are there? Wait, I still have to count that many? I can't count that many, bro. That's too many. I give up. I quit. I, I can I can have baby boxy help. Okay, okay. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 15. There's 15? Wait, you yeah. said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Whoa! Yeah! Baby Boxy's smart. Baby Boxy knows his numbers better than we do, Adam. Yeah. Okay, he says, so hungry, make something to eat. Oh, dude, it's a banana right here. It's a banana. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, oh, wait what? what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Wait, what, bro? Wait, what? Banana, oh, just a banana. Make, a, make an egg. What? <laughs> make an egg. <laughs> Boom! I love eggs. Huh? Adam <laughs> out here, he love eggs, bro. Hey guys, I'm not supposed to learn <laughs> this, but sometimes Adam he'll put on that bald cap, you know, and he'll sit at home and he'll say, I am the egg man. I am the egg man. <laughs> and then he'll eat about 20 eggs. He'll eat about 20 eggs. And those are the days when me and Adam's mom, we leave the house. <laughs> we don't come back until at least a week or so. <laughs> Which book? It has the fish wish, Adam. Now, Adam likes fish wishes. He should know. What, do we, what, what should um, I do, man? I can't move any of the buckets. I can't move any of them. I would say, can you rotate any of them? You're a genius. What if you have to turn the iPad upside down? Oh. You're a genius. Are you... No, oh, this game is lit. Dude, that's pretty crazy. I turned the iPad and it spilled out the water. Wow, that's cool. You know what else is really, really cool? <laughs> the new merch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, Let's go. Okay, you have to win the game. Now that's us. Okay, there is okay. This tic tac toe. Wait, any way we play, we lose because we can't. We lose no matter what. Yeah, this one's tricky, guys. I I thought it was gonna be that you had to swap that you have the circle and she has the circle or something it's okay, like that. Adam, I gave myself a brain massage and now I know what the answer is. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What the answer is, is the answer is we're gonna watch your hands. Okay, let's go. Use your two fingers to fill in Owen to say, okay, so just cheat basically. Ha! Huh? You gotta oh, use oh. <laughs> That's smart. Wow. Go to the exit. Okay, it's a little chunk. Okay, a little chunk. <laughs> okay, this is a maze, and we're real good at mazes. Okay, I already know. Uh, dude, look at uh, 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 you know uh, uh, you know what I mean? I uh, uh, I already know it's impossible, bro. Cause look at the exit, bro. It's blocked off. You know what I mean? Wow, you know I mean? you're right. So what if you have to go around the maze? Dude, dude, that's what I'm thinking, bro. Uh, dude, this is actually big brain. Okay, a lot of these levels are troll. This one's actually legit. If you actually try and go to the maze, you will never win. Oh, yeah, you're right. You'll never win. Oh, if you touch the wall, you have to reset. Yeah, you'll never win if you try and go in the maze because the exit is just blocked off, dude. Yeah, you got to go around. Dude. Here we go. Okay, these levels are getting legit. Okay, respect. Let's go. Wow. All right, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShot.com. I just yeeted Baby Boxy. Sorry about that. Go Stop get some merch, guys. Baby Boxy, Adam. <laughs> at LankyBoxShop.com. Okay, okay. Dude, this game was really sick, bro. Yeah, it kind of looks like us. Oh, yeah, there's me, and there's you on the left. <laughs> yeah, wow. you're walking me. Wow, what? You what? <laughs> Adam thinks he's a dog. <laughs> We're gonna go eat hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs>